where my early risers at, or at least those of us who wish we were. <laughs> Hey there, welcome back to Amy TV. I thought, because there's a lot of you who are watching these videos who would like to wake up early, have been trying to wake up early, have watched every video I've ever made about waking up early, that we could address some of the things that might help you to actually wake up early. I know you've tried, I know it's difficult, I know you have kind of like rolled out of bed and then rolled right back into bed, and as motivated as you might be, it doesn't seem to show up in the way that it needs to when it's time. So today I wanna to share some secrets to success when it comes to waking up early, things that successful people do in order to keep themselves up, awake, ready to get at it before the sun has even arisen. Quick sidebar, I did rearrange my office. Thank you for asking. It looks very much the same, doesn't it? <laughs> I like to make big moves in very small ways. There was a mirror here before. It should hopefully no longer be distracting you with a weird reflection situation. I moved my travel map instead, so, and I'm a little bit, I, I moved some things. I moved a couple of things, so it's probably not like a huge, if you're wondering, I just figure, they're gonna ask me these questions, I figure I should just address them. ASAP <laughs> because it's just different enough for you guys to say something in the comments. Yes, I did. And uh, yes, uh, hopefully you love it as much as I do. Before we dig into some secrets for success for waking up early, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I make new videos every Sunday and Wednesday, and hopefully you will make it a ritual of yours <laughs> to join me on this day. Waking up consistently early means knowing what your goal is. I mean, we don't just wake up early for the heck of it, okay? I've never claimed to be a morning person. I still don't believe that I am. I still have to work on these success tactics myself in order to make sure that I stay awake and alert to make the most of my time. But that would not happen at all if I did not have a goal in mind. So those people who you hear about wake up early, they're in the office at a crazy hour, they even go to the gym at like four in the morning, those people have a specific goal in mind and they understand that when you reverse engineer from the goal, that you need to be able to make more out of your day, specifically the hours of the day that people are going to mess with you the least. If it's weird to wake up early, that means you're less likely to be spoken to, bothered, distracted by other people by knocking out some stuff in the morning. So when you really start to think about, man, it would be great to have peace and quiet for two to three hours for that specific thing. Or maybe it's not peace and quiet, but just genuinely people are barely awake yet, so they're less likely to talk to you. I feel like that's what's great about going to the gym super, super early in the morning is like, okay, we're all kind of here, but are we really? I don't know. So get really specific about what that goal is. It doesn't have to be one thing for your life or for the next even year. It could be something that's specific to your day or your week. And when you start to do some like weekly planning, let's say you sit down Sunday night and you're like, okay, here are my big three things I wanna get done this week and they're probably gonna take a little bit of time. I should allocate some hours in the morning toward that, maybe in the evening too, but start to schedule it out. And when you have everything connected to a specific goal of getting it done, you will likely hit the alarm, this, this, the snoozy button thing in the morning and go, oh yeah, I gotta get up right now. I, I, it's time to go. Another secret to success is just being self-aware about what you need in order to get the body going. For me, I've talked about this many times in the past, I like to have lemon water to jolt the system as quickly as possible. First of all, because the, the water itself is very important, very dehydrated for a good number of hours of not drinking water, plus I tend to get kind of bad about drinking water late in the day. So if I don't have enough before bed and then you go another seven to eight hours without drinking or eating, uh, hello, you need hydration ASAP. So that's a big thing. And the lemon I have just found to be sort of, a, like I said, a jolt to the system in a really natural way, first thing in the morning, which is great. So you're not going straight in on the coffee. Cause to me, I've been lately factoring coffee back into my life. And if you follow me on Twitter, I did talk about this recently. Coffee for me has been more of like a treat. So I kind of make it the after gym, reward or if it's something where I'm like, okay, I'm specifically gonna be writing or working on something for the next couple of hours, so I'm gonna allow myself to have coffee in order to make sure I stay on my game for that. That's how I treat coffee, but just be self-aware. 
What's your deal? Do you need coffee in order to wake up in the morning? Why deprive yourself of that? There is, you know, too much of a good thing, but if you know you're gonna be happy to get up if you can go turn the coffee machine on, or maybe you have one that programs itself and comes right on itself, so you smell it first thing in the morning and you're delighted to get out of bed and run to that machine, do it. It, that's you, that's all your preference. And if that works for helping you actually move and shake a little earlier than usual, make it happen. A big secret to success which starts before all of this is knowing that you need to be able to get good sleep if you're going to wake up in the morning and be somewhat reasonable with yourself about actually making it happen. So what time did you go to bed the night before? It's so important to think about that. Your sleep is vital to your health, to your skin, to your sanity. So many reasons why sleep is important. I always get so confused when I have to convince people to sleep because I think it's one of the most treasured pastimes of all of our lives. I think sleep is the best thing ever. I genuinely get so excited when it's time to go to bed and it's not 10 o'clock yet. Like I feel like that's the biggest accomplishment in the world. When I feel tired, I'm ready for bed. I've sort of like done the whole thing, washed my face, had a little bit of water hopefully and ate dinner at a decent hour and it's before 10 o'clock. I'm like, yeah, I'm winning this day and I'm gonna win tomorrow morning because I'm gonna go to bed right now and I'm gonna have some sweet dreams. And then Lucy's like, I kind of wanted to hang out and be like awake for the next two hours. And then she screws that up. So when that doesn't happen, it's the best day ever. <laughs> yes, you, Lucy. Yes, I'm talking about you. She literally just opened up her eyes from her nap. You do know your name. Another big secret for success, in my opinion, is directly tying the act of waking up with another act. So for me, this has kind of become the lemon water thing, um, but it could be something else that may not be compelling to you. This could be tied to that goal. But what they say about habits is that you're much more likely to have a habit develop over time if you tie it to another act, maybe something you already do, maybe a reward that you enjoy deeply. I don't know what that is for you, but I know that the people that I have seen struggle with this in the past, and myself included, is if I set the alarm, I've been having a hard time waking up early lately, but tomorrow's the day, and then I wake up and I turn the alarm off, but there's not actually something to do, and then I start justifying to myself. Um, I don't know, I guess I could do this all later. And I could probably sleep for one more hour because one hour of sleep is healthy. If I don't have a specific thing like, okay, I have to write three pages of, of morning pages, I wanna do writing or, or I have a, a newsletter that has to go out and it has to get done first thing in the morning because I write at my best first thing in the morning. Or if it's I have to go to the trainer because the trainer is waiting on me. So if I don't show up, that accountability partner is gonna be like, um, where are you at, boo? Thank you, Frank, for that. Thank you, thank you. Tying an actual action or something to do to the act of waking up is more likely to keep you out of bed or keep you from snoozing and going right back to sleep. So find something specific. Maybe you need something different every day. Maybe there's like, okay, this is what I have to do today in order to make this happen. And then there's something different every day just so you feel compelled. Write a sticky note and put it on your phone. I've done this in the past where I know I'll forget to do something in the morning, but it can be either your ritual thing or a task you don't wanna forget to do. Put a sticky note on your phone so that it's on top of the snooze button. That's, what, that's my little hack for remembering things or remembering I did have something I wanted to do this morning, especially if I don't wanna look at my calendar yet. I really need to know what that thing is if I don't wanna dig into my phone first thing in the morning. And speaking of having a trainer, another success secret for waking up early is simply to have an accountability partner. You know, do you have someone that's going to do this with you? It could be your significant other. It could be your trainer who you're gonna meet up with. It could be somebody online. You've decided to digitally hold yourselves accountable at X time in the morning. Okay, great, we're in the same time zone. Maybe we're not in the same state or the same house, but we can still say, hey, are you you awake? Yes, I'm awake. Okay, great. Um, let's let's hold each other accountable here to do the things we want to do. And the last success secret I kind of want to share with you is to just not feel like this is the rest of your life, right? That might be a lot to take on if you're not a morning person already. Now, ideally, this is going to be a great thing for you and you're going to love to wake up early going forward every morning um, as a habit. If you're so 
far gone from that to be potential for you, it can be really hard to embrace that as you're doing this every day. So think about this as like a waking up early campaign. You simply have to develop the habit that will help you over time. Maybe you're just going to develop this habit over a period of a month, of a period of two months, three months. Just tell yourself from this date to this date, on weekdays, not on weekends, I'm gonna wake up every day at 5.30 or whatever the case may be, whatever is early to you. I sleep on the weekends. I definitely do not love wake, waking up super, super early on the weekends. I, I think it's a luxury. I think it's something you should enjoy if that's a day off for you, whatever your weekend is. So a lot of people ask me this, like, do you wake up at 5.30 on Saturday? I'm like, <laughs> what am I, a robot? No. I love to sleep, I told you this. And so if I can get some more of it on the weekends, I love that. Plus we hang out with our friends Friday nights, Saturday nights. Um, my friends include my husband on the couch watching Netflix late night. So it's like, okay, we do not wanna wake up early the next day. But if you can just task yourself, okay, this is a specific period of time I'm gonna challenge myself to wake up early. Even if it's a week, just say every day this week, I'm gonna do it every day this week. Challenge yourself because that might be something that is in you to keep you accountable, whereas just the um, potential for this to be forever and ever and ever may not sound as sexy to you. But the accomplishment of the next day and the next week would be awesome. Those are some success secrets that I have found. I would love to hear yours, especially if you have been trying to wake up early and there's something that has helped you. Please leave that in the comments below. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. Cheers.